Let's take a live look now in Tel Aviv, Israel, where it is just after four in the afternoon there. Overnight, the country of Iran attacked Israel with numerous drones and ballistic missiles. The U.S., Israel, and its other allies were able to intercept 99 percent of the more than 300 drones and missiles. You can see in this video the missiles and attack drones as they're shot down over Israel. While most never hit the ground, some did hit a military base in the southern part of the country, which caused some minor damage. NBC News says a 10-year-old girl was hurt when she was hit by shrapnel, and 31 others were treated for anxiety or other injuries that they got while heading to a safe area. Last night, President Biden released a statement condemning Iran's attack on Israel. And this morning, NBC News has learned President Biden has told Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. will not participate in any offensive operations against Iran, meaning he will not support a retaliatory strike. Top U.S. officials say they are concerned Israel could respond quickly without thinking through the potential fallout. President Biden has announced his plans to help resolve the conflict, saying, quote, I will convene my fellow G7 leaders to coordinate a united diplomatic response to Iran's brazen attack. That meeting with the G7 is expected to take place today, and the United Nations Security Council will also meet today amid fears of a larger conflict while the Israel-Hamas war continues in the Gaza Strip. Melissa. 947.